that your girl's recording and we're talking about with parents. Let, let's let's all go through a level of maybe trauma <laughs> or nostalgia, depending. Growing up with black parents, I feel like it is we all grew up the same damn way. And we all been kind of terrorized in some form of way by our parents or grandparents. If you know, got a level of PTSD for sure. Yo, yo, shout outs to you. I've been meaning to react to this video. Growing up with black parents. Without further ado, let's get into the next video, y'all. Let's do it. Hey, Clanny, where you going? Let you do something wrong and cry. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. <laughs> Let you do something wrong and laugh. Oh, something funny? <laughs> Let you do something wrong and... Oh, so you got nothing to say? <laughs> yep. Hey, before I start this video, I do want to say, obviously, most of the stuff I'm saying is jokes and generalizations. That's all the internet is. So please don't take anything I say too seriously. And please do not apply your situation to what I'm saying as well. Because I'm not trying to offend anybody. I'm just trying to make jokes on the internet. Peace, hope you enjoy. So I can't trauma dump is what you're saying? Enjoy the video. Like parents, we all got them. <laughs> Nigga. Ah! Being raised by black. Nah, that. You gonna slip that in there, gang? <laughs> ah! Nigga. Ah! Being raised by black okay. parents gotta be up there with Navy SEAL okay. training. It's something that'll tax you not only physically, but also mentally. Because it's not as simple as you do something wrong and you get beat. Because when you do something wrong, black parents won't beat you. Cat! No, no, no. They won't beat you immediately because if you do something wrong in front of a black parent they will tell you that they're gonna beat you and just walk away like nothing happened like they didn't literally just threaten they will tell you and let you just sit in the batter of anxiety that they just dunked you in they will force you to go through the whole day scared of everything completely expecting to get beat at any moment just for them to do nothing and then right right as you drop your guard and think they forgot you yeah. know what what I tell you about that, 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 that. You get hit with a guerrilla warfare beating. I remember this one time I was upstairs Damn. in my room. Damn. And I hear my mom call my name, which means everything that I was doing has to come to a complete stop. I could have been doing open heart surgery in my mom. Hey, listen, the, the worst level of this is when your parents call your name and you be like, yeah. always do this like yeah ma ma they sit there and they call you you respond back and you don't hear nothing back and then they want to get even extra mad at the fact that it is like oh you ain't come down immediately it's like you didn't even say anything <laughs> bro our earliest bullies you know what you absolutely right, Rupert King. Mom would have told me to pause. No, my mom called me. <laughs> but not only do I have to stop everything that I was doing, but I need to go downstairs. Because when a black parent calls your name, you can't respond. Yes, mom. Yes. Damn. Because <sighs> they will not acknowledge your existence until you are right in front of them. So I get up and go downstairs to my mom. And the task that she called my name multiple times to do is to pour her a glass of water. So I go to... Nah, nah, nah. The worst thing is, is having your parent call you come, to come down or come to wherever it is that they are to just, like, you know, find the remote, get, hand them the remote and while it's right next to them, you know, or they'd be on the toilet. I had this happen before. They'd be on the toilet and they'd just say, listen, pass me the toilet paper that's in the, ca in the, in the closet. Really? Really, nigga? Uh oh well, go go upstairs and uh, go upstairs and go um uh, find my purse. And then you mind you and mind you, this happened to me before. I went upstairs. I went to go find the purse. I'm like, mom, the purse is not there. It's up there. It's up there next to the dresser. Go back up there and get it. Because if I have to, if I gotta go upstairs and go get it, all right, all right, all right, all right, gone. The, the craziest thing it is is like you know you can't find something, but then your parent be like. It's right next to you, bro. And it's like, what kind of bionic fucking vision it is that you had? I was looking for this shit literally for the past two hours. And you mean to tell me it is that you found this that quick? 
I got PTSD all over again. <laughs> Pour water with an attitude, of course, because I can't lie. She interrupted my focus. I could have been doing something extremely important. Yo, what if I gave you open heart surgery? So when I give her her water, I walk upstairs and I suck my tongue. But it was a completely involuntary thing. I was just really annoyed, but nothing happened. So the next day, it's, I wake up, my mom makes me breakfast. I head to school, finish up there. And then me and my brothers, we have a karate lesson. So our mom picks us up and she's driving us there. So we're chilling in the car. I'm looking out the window and... <laughs> is blurred my ears are ringing my face is hot i'm like what was the, the airbag did we get into a wreck my eyes readjust to the light and i realize we are parked I look at my mom and she goes that hurt huh what you think i didn't hear you suck your teeth yesterday my mom slapped the f out of my face bro i didn't even see her hand coming one second everything was chilling and then the next my face was contorted into the shape of a palm i got hit with a slap that not even raven simone could have predicted bro i need nah, you guys to really that's sick well, my mom wasn't that petty yo damn yo yo your mom literally said i bet i'm gonna catch you while it is you least expected it and she took it so serious understand what just happened here my mom heard me suck my teeth from upstairs once again it's crazy how she didn't hear me go yes multiple times after she called my name but that's besides the point she heard me do that drank her Not water the pain. Sleep, woke up the next day so went to work much did pain. an eight hour shift picked us up from school and during that entire duration of time she had the intent to apply 5,000 newtons of force to my face so she made me breakfast she kissed me goodbye as i was going to the bus doing that while wanting to slap my face like a tetherball is crazy she started hey. seasoning the eggs like you gonna suck your teeth at me kissing me at the bus stop like oh mommy loves you okay have a good day Mwah. i'm about to kill this nigga gorilla warfare parenting bro Another thing that black parents do is they do not allow you to express any type of emotion, bro. Let bro. you do something wrong and cry. Stop crying before I give you something to cry about. Ugh. Let you do something wrong and laugh. Oh, something funny? <laughs> Let you do something wrong and... Oh, so you got nothing to say? <laughs> I wasn't a bad kid, but I was a clumsy kid. I was always breaking something, drawing on something. I flooded the entire apartment one time, so I got beat How did a lot. I so much to... How did you flood... How did you flood an apartment? How? How did How did you do that? Nah, I deserve this crazy. <laughs> how did you flood a whole apartment? Channel, mind your business. Mind your business. How do you flood a whole apartment? That is insane. Even I never did that. I may have flooded like, you know, like the little sink area at the, the top part. I may have done that and doing some super shit. But, I, I, you know, I ain't never flooded an apartment. Nigga was running dish to water and forgot. Oh. Good point, good point. To the point where the beating stopped hurting and I stopped crying. So when that happened, my mom stopped beating me and my dad started beating me. Now, my mom and my Ooh. dad are split, so I only got beat by him occasionally. But I still got beat by him so much that I adapted to that too. And when I stopped crying to his beating, you know what he responded? The nigga just punched me in the chest, bro. The nigga punched me and said, I bet that hurt. Like, bro, you cannot win. Like, bro, I am 14 years old resisting grown man strength. Do you not realize that you're not raising a child anymore? You are raising a super soldier. I just could not win. And even when you do win and get an apology, it's never an actual apology. It'll be a... <laughs> hey, the food's ready. I already made you a plate. Come down before it gets cold. <laughs> now, I'm gonna give you this phone back, but... Hey, I found all the Dragon Balls. Let's let's go ahead and wish you back to life. Nah, that's sick. I'm just never really getting right, the code. Apology. You know what? That's okay because I'm not gonna lie. Some of the sweetest, most nurturing moments I've had with my mom were minutes after getting my ass beat, bro. And it's the same thing with my dad, but in a completely opposite way. Some of the most traumatizing and scariest moments I've ever had with him were minutes after being completely calm with him. The thing about moms is that they're never completely chill. Hey, mom, could I get five dollars for a cookie at lunch? <sighs> Grab my purse. See constant level of hostility hey listen hey hey i ain't gonna lie with you i can agree to this because back then i think my lunch my lunch was probably like 125 uh but i know 75 cent was breakfast and i think 125 was probably lunch 
And I, I, I don't know how much the lunch price it is now. My own business shadow. I don't know how much the lunch price it is now, but I used to, my mom would write like a little check for like $20, $25 or whatnot. And so I would have to catch my mom at like a good time. If not, it is, I wouldn't be able to eat because I wouldn't have money for, for lunch. So I'd be like, um, mom, um, could I able to get $20 for, 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 for lunch money? Didn't I just give you a check literally last week? Yeah, but I don't have any more now. What is it that you, you getting it from, from the school lunch? Because, uh, I know it is that I gave, gave you $20 to put into the, to the lunch system so you can get some food. What are you, so you getting double, double food? What is it you, you don't, you, you acting like it is you don't eat, you don't eat when it is you're here. So I don't understand why it is you sitting there, you going to the school, you eating up all this food. My boy. Grabby my, grabby my purse and she'll write a check, right? Back when it is writing checks was a big thing. I said, damn, y'all paid for lunch? I had free lunch in high school, maybe like 10th grade, because I knew how to cheat the system. I knew how to cheat the system then, but I always paid for lunch. But when you do get beat, it's not surprising because the graph is already kind of up there. But dads, yo, yo, come down and do these dishes for me, boss. Appreciate you. <sighs> Fine. What you say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The graph goes from completely chill to what 17 uh, more years international Damn. levels of rage have you ever made your dad so mad that he, st <laughs> that he starts laughing bro it's like okay bro that shit is scary bro like my dad's belt wouldn't even completely come off and i would start bawling the way i like to think of black parents at least from the divorced parent american point of view since that's how i grew up i see black mothers as lionesses nurturing but hardened due to their environment i know a hell of men myself included who grew up watching their moms work ridiculously ridiculously hard and ridiculously long just to provide for them and i see black dads as the male lions not in the picture at all i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking but fathers are just more chill but they clearly give off this sense of masculinity and authority so you never really messed up in front of them and when you did sheesh. i'm realizing unfortunately this video did go from a harmless rant to me talking about discipline and the negative things and i'm not done hold on because <laughs> i ain't even get to the wooden spoon having to stand in the corner holding a book or some water or something getting put on quote unquote punishment which is 10 times worse than getting grounded unfortunately one of the main aspects of having black parents is harsh discipline but the thing is you can't blame them for that unfortunately it's just how their parents raised them and how their parents raised them it's just generational you very much can't blame them you very much can because some things it is as parents what it is that they went through like obviously there's people are a product of their environment but it's like gang you're a parent now you're a parent i didn't i, I didn't ask to be here <laughs> i didn't ask to be here so you know you made that choice for me so um oh what's good earl how are you so it's just like come on you you get you made a decision for us to be here, regardless of what the circumstances is. If like you know, if you was financially ready or ready at all to be a parent, you know what I'm saying. You can't take that out on us. Trauma. So even though I Shadow's personally going have off some in the major background. vices because of how I was raised, and I would never raise my children in the way that I was raised, I love my parents, and I'll never hold that against them because they did their best with what they had. Once again, some of my fondest nah, moments that, yeah, that is were a apology type of meals or like trips to the park after getting my ass beat. Once got beat in the hotel at a Disney World, bro. You think I remember the beat it, nigga? We was at Disney World. That shit was fun as hell. You know, it was a vibe to make fun of black parents for beating us and whatnot. But there's also a lot of positive. Black gatherings are some of the most fun and wholesome places to be the food the music the potato salad without the raisins and celery have you ever had two relatives beef over who's a oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on y'all niggas is putting celery in potato salad <laughs> raisins and celery what what a, what a pussy cat fuck better cook and then they just have a meal, meal with each other the idis after that is crazy. But another thing you get from having black parents is you learn respect. The main compliment I get in life as an adult is on how polite and respectful I am. And I 100% attribute that are we surprised? to having black parents. When I was brought up, they you raised right. me to make sure that I not only have confidence and demand respect, 
but they also made sure I did not disrespect other people. And no matter how you see it, having respectful kids in this day and age currently is a flex on the parents part, I can't lie. Another thing is work ethic. The reason I am even able to juggle an animation channel, a reaction channel, a vlog channel, all of this is because, once again, when I was brought up, I just, I just have so many memories of watching my mom slave away to provide for us. I watched her, watched her work. I think honestly it is since we're gonna be talking about this. Now, I, re I recently started watching uh, The Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady, and no, her name is us, Shira Seven. And she talks about this a lot to where it is as us as women. It's very unnatural for us to be working like that. I think in general for both men and women is very unnatural, but men are providers and that's what it is, you know, they're supposed to, to be doing. But for women, that's not natural for us to take on to that level of masculine roles like that. And we've adopted that and we've so much to the point to where it is that us as the children or as the kids, we watch our parents go through two or three jobs, you know, just to provide for the basic needs for us, not even realizing it is the like how emotionally taxing that is to put yourself through that, to be working. That This is why it is the like, I, I was going to put this quote up to where it is. We need to stop idolizing the oh, always working thing. Right, Shadow? We need to kind of stop idolizing that to where it is that we constantly have to keep working thing because it's a trauma response within itself, but it's the easiest way for you to burn out. Like you're constantly putting yourself through a level of like, well, I need to be working. I need to be doing this, 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 and this. Eventually your body is going to tell you it is enough is enough. However ways it is that that works. That's why it is people take breaks. That's why it is people get like burnt and burnouts like shit. So I, I get it. I get it. This this is actually a reason to why it is that I started working like that. But then I started realizing that constantly working is not good for you. Working nine to five and do college at the same time while raising. I went to her graduation. I watched her climb the corporate ladder to get to where she is right now. She did all of that while being a single mother of four children. Growing up watching Ooh. that really burned into my brain how important a good work ethic is. And I will use that to talk work about as hard that as I Corey can afterwards. to provide her the life that I know she deserves. That's a fall off. And then if that's the case, shh. Ma, you better let me stay on the couch, bro. You're cooked. I'm trying to come up on some fucking money. They say they laugh into the bank. You bro, so what's so Hey, listen, yo, yo, shout outs to you, gang. Shout outs to you, gangy. You know? Definitely understand that. But hey, you know, appreciate the vid. Shout outs to y'all in the chat. And shout outs to you at home. I will catch y'all in the next video.